Hello, it's Mariah Lovemore. So, are you looking for your inner peace? You're trying to find your inner peace. You cannot find peace from someone else. You cannot get your peace based on someone just walking into your life and just bringing you that peace. Now, you can accept someone else being peaceful but if you have a whirlwind, a tornado <laughs> inside your life, you have to deal with that first. You have to do the necessary things in order to feel more centered. The first thing you wanna do is slow down. Now, if you have a really busy, fast paced life, that may seem impossible, but you can take these simple steps by slowing down, by pausing for a moment, and just inhaling and exhaling. Not answering that phone call, taking a break from social media, taking a break from hanging out on the weekends with friends, even though that it's like your, your escape, and you may feel like your life will be so chaotic without partying or having fun being around someone. But if you feel like you have to be around someone all the time, you don't have peace. If you can't sit with yourself, just you, then we need to do something about that. Slow down. Don't walk too fast. When you're in a store, take in the moment. Take in what you are currently doing. If you feel yourself running up the steps, Take your time. Take your time drinking that glass of water. When you eat your meal, take in the aroma of what you are eating. It can be a peach. It can be a sandwich. It is so important to slow down when you desire to have peace in your life. So I saw this post on Facebook from a loved one and they said, I don't know how to feel anymore. You know, I took action. I reached out to them and the Holy Spirit was speaking to me and telling me that a lot of people have not been taught how to process their emotions, have not been taught how to identify which emotion they are feeling. Take the time out to identify your emotions. I like this emotional will right here. It really helps you identify the emotion. Take some time out. I left a link to the description box for this emotional wheel. Take the time out. If you don't know the definition of a word, look it up. Look it up and break it down in the synthesis. There should be some examples of synthesis and there should be some synonyms as well to help you identify which emotion you are currently feeling. Once you identify that emotion, take the time out to process it. That way you can deal with it. And if you have a tough time doing this, click the link below and receive two weeks free of therapy. That way you can talk to someone that is a professional, someone that can really help you process these emotions. That way that you can live your best life. So one thing that I love doing, I love going to get massages. I love practicing wellness. It's like Jesus is my number one thing. <laughs> and wellness is like right after it <laughs> because I love to feel good. I know that I can function better and I can knock out whatever day-to-day -day tasks that I may face. And this leads me to the next one. Work on your inner self. What are you consuming? What foods are you consuming? What type of music are you consuming? What type of company are you entertaining? And also, do you watch the news a lot? Are you addicted to toxicity? Are you addicted to gossip? One thing that I've learned, and we all have learned this, when it comes to food, when it comes to certain people you hang around, when it comes to certain music you listen to, there is a delayed effect. If I eat a cheeseburger and then I eat a french fry and then I have a really good milkshake, mm, 
I'm not about to have a day where I'm filled with a lot of energy and I'm just ready to take on the day. If you are really busy, then it's time to detox. It's time to eat cleaner. It's time to eat lighter. That way that you can preserve your body. That way you can think clearly. I've noticed a shift in how I felt when I did the Dr. Sabi diet. It is a really challenging diet, but I felt my absolute best when I did a Dr. Sabi diet. There was no doubt that I felt my absolute best when I did the Dr. Sabi diet. I was fasting. It was a fast. I did it as a fast and I was praying for my family to come closer together. And I remember having this really nice get together. I made it a potluck theme. We had a bonfire in the back and it was about 20, 25 of us. And we all had so much fun to the point I was getting a lot of phone calls the day after. And I was like, we need to do this again. And then I was getting phone calls from family members and friends that did not, that were not able to attend. And I was like, yeah, let's do this again. And everyone was like, let's do it sooner rather than later. I'm like, well, how soon? Hmm. I'm like, well, you know what? I'm free this Saturday, like a week later <laughs> after having this party. I kid you not. It was like 50, 60 people at my house. And I was like, whoa, this is so cool. Um, and it was actually in my city. We have the blink. I um, had like the blink parade where they light up the city and my mom, she bought all these um, glow in the dark uh, glow sticks um, for bracelets, the necklace, the eyeglasses. And we got, I had ordered like vegan marshmallows and regular marshmallows too. We made s'mores. It was just such a wonderful time. And this was right before the pandemic. And I was like, God, thank you, because you answer my prayers. <laughs> I want to get my family together. And when a pandemic happened, I was like, oh, my gosh, the devil is a liar. No, like I was just this close to having my family, have my family really be, you know, have my family come together and be close like we used to be. So now I'm back on that same journey and i am looking forward to getting a fire pit because that was like <laughs> that was the vibe for our family we absolutely enjoyed the fire pit so you got to think about what you're consuming and i am working <laughs> i am working so hard to get back on the same journey that i used to be on now i do enjoy some foods that's not good for you in moderation so if I had something bad, then I'm like, okay, for the rest of the day, I need to eat healthy. <laughs> I am the type to make a really bomb, tasty acaline salad. I might just share that recipe with you all. <laughs> so you're working on your inner self. And maybe you never set boundaries before and you want to start setting boundaries. I would really recommend a therapist again because they will help you set healthy boundaries especially if you have relationships that you want to preserve without totally cutting that person off unless they just don't respect the boundary and the new version of you which is going to be the best version of you okay <laughs> just remember this another thing you don't have to sit there and take people's mess okay don't sit there and take and take people mess just to simply pray for them. And if you have the advice, you may be a minister, you may be a pastor. Maybe that's a way how you serve God, by serving others, by giving them advice. But there is a line that you have to draw because you have things that you need to do, which is finding your peace and getting that balance and setting boundaries. So it's so essential to make sure you draw that line because your cup don't get filled that way. Encourage them 
and guide them to get the right help. That way that y'all relationship can be preserved. And while you're working on your inner self, hold yourself accountable. There are so many people out here that are not holding themselves accountable. Hold yourself accountable. You cannot continue to do the same thing. You cannot continue to have the same attitude, to say the same things, and to consume the same things if you want different results. So this one is one of my favorite ways to find peace. I like to look in my space and not on my space, not the actual social media <laughs> platform that we used to have, but my actual space. What does your space look like? What does your space look like? Do you appreciate empty spaces? Appreciate empty spaces. Appreciate decluttering. All of your walls in every corner of every room do not have to be filled. Nowadays, we have so much coming at us. Declutter your space. See what sparks joy. And speaking of spark and joy, what sparks joy? What sparks joy in your home, in your workplace, in the things that you love doing? So when you're feeling down, when you're feeling lousy, what sparks joy? Create a list of things that sparks joy and pick one of those activities to do. One thing that really sparks joy in my life is singing praises. I would say being in the presence of God is the best feeling that I have ever experienced. I feel lighter. I feel like his love is just squeezing me. If you haven't experienced that, start meditating on his word. Click on the link below to watch City Gate Church live on Sundays at 9.30. If you open up your heart, your mind, the Holy Spirit will be with you so that you too can experience the joy and the peace that I get from being in the presence of God. Not only the joy and the peace that I receive, but his love, his comfort, and knowing that he will never leave me or forsake me. So it's so important, so essential to find your peace and don't blame others, start with yourself. Last but not least, one way that I really find peace is finding a work and family balance. It's important to have a goal set in mind. Your situation may be that you don't have the time, but pray to God to create that time by creating more time to spend with Him and He will make space and empty out your storage that way that you can have a balance in life. Is God tugging at your heart today? Do you need some advice? Please visit my Wizio page and you will receive a personalized answer. To receive a free prayer, scroll all the way down and click the link and I will send you a free prayer. Please like this video, share this with someone that you love, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, that way that you will be notified when the next video will premiere. Also follow me on Instagram at Mariah underscore Lovemore and on TikTok at Mariah Lovemore. Alright Victorious Ones, peace and blessings. If there's any other topics that you would like me to talk about, please leave a comment below. And until next time, peace and blessings. See ya. The day my 4C hair grew past my shoulders, I knew I needed a little extra TLC. Introducing Naja Growth Elixir, an all-natural blend of formula with essential oils that grows your hair, whether in a curly state or tamed, combats itching and dandruff, stimulates hair follicles, moisturizes hair so you can retain length. Just apply on your scalp hair, locks, and guys, don't forget about your beards. 
Great for at home, salons, and barbershops. To receive 10% off, visit our website at www.najabeautyproducts.com.